These are big cubes. Big cubes are any n by n by n Rubik's cube where n is greater than three, which means that they have more than three layers. Let's start with the four by four. So a four by four should have 64 pieces, right? Because four times four times four equals 64. So let's just count them then. So the top, four times four, so 16 here. So there's 16 on the bottom too. So top and bottom makes 32 pieces, right? Then 32 uh, plus these eight is 40 plus these eight is 48, right? 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Hmm, that's pretty lame. We're getting scammed out of eight pieces here. On a five by five, there are only 98 pieces where there should be 125. So where are all these hidden pieces then? Our story begins in 1989 with Tony Fisher, a famous British puzzle designer who wrote an article for the Cubism for Fun magazine called Hidden Cubes. Allegedly. I couldn't actually find an archive of this article online anywhere, so I guess we'll just take his word for it. In November of 2006, none other than Stefan Pachmann made a post to the twistypuzzles.com forum. Unfortunately, this link doesn't work anymore, so I literally have no idea what they were talking about. But further down, the topic changed to a puzzle called the Baby Face, which seems to be a 2x2 two two where you can also rotate four stickers of a side like 4x4 four four centers. And this is when someone called Carl Hoff joined the conversation, saying that the video, the, the link that doesn't work anymore, reminded him of the 3x3x3 three by three by three inside of a 5x5x5. Five by five by five. Now, if you actually build a cube that is five blocks wide in all directions, you'll see that the other cubies are in the middle. In fact, there are 28 of them in a 3x3x3 three by three by three grid. But wait a minute, a 3x3x3 three by three by three only has 27 pieces, so where's the last one? Well, it's actually the core piece. The core of a cube would have all six colors and sit in the very center of the puzzle. And this is when the term real puzzle started being used, meaning an n by n by n that includes all of the internal pieces. Tony Fisher saw this conversation and made another post on the twistypuzzles.com forum showing off some cool pictures of what the turns would do to the inside pieces. This inspired Karl Hoff to see if a circular track design could possibly represent the internal stickers on a real 5x5x5. And over the next 8 years, Karl Hoff slowly began bringing his idea to life. He designed the pieces and made renderings in a program called Pauvre. After a few failed attempts and a back design that is a slightly different puzzle, the double circle real 5x5x5 was completed in 2014. It's hard to tell what you're looking at, but see how when you turn the second layer down, it brings one of the circles with it? Well, that circle actually perfectly represents the top layer of the internal 3x3x3. But actually, this puzzle goes above and beyond because it's really a super real 5x5x5, which means that each piece, including the one colored pieces, have a specific spot they need to go to be solved. If you've ever played with a picture cube before, then you know what I'm talking about. His backup puzzle, the window reel 5x5x5, is a version that uses a different design and isn't a super cube. You can order both the double circle reel 5x5x5 and the window reel 5x5x5 from Carl's Shapeway page, but bear in mind that they're quite expensive because they have to be custom 3D printed on demand, and they have a lot of small intricate parts that need to be assembled. But what if you want to buy a real 4x4x4? Well, you're in luck, because the Shengshao Crazy 4x4 is on thecubicle.com. So what are you waiting for? You should buy a bunch of stuff on thecubicle.com and use the discount code ROWAN to save 5% off. But if you just want to play with some of these puzzles virtually, then there's a program called P-Cubes that has a bunch of them, including some horribly massive real dodecahedral puzzles. So now that we know what these puzzles really are, what's the solving experience like? Are there any crazy parodies or weird solving strategies needed to solve it? Nope. You kind of just solve the inner puzzle and then solve the outer puzzle, but just always slice back after you slice so that you don't mess it up. And that's it. 
Thanks for watching this video and thank you to my amazing channel members and especially my first second tier member, Riley Fragan. Thank you so much. Uh, subscribe, like the video, shop at the cubicle, discount code ROW and see you in the next video. Bye bye.